morning, everyone. We, we, you're always so awkward. We are on our way to the airport. We are flying out to Chicago today. We are meeting with a team of, I guess, well, we're cancer running. specialists. Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Yep, Cancer Treatment Centers of America. We're gonna meet with a bunch of specialists this week and just see their opinions on Jeremy's cancer. Um, you know, we still are excited about the good news that they're not seeing any cancer on the PET scan. Um, the Cancer Treatment Center will have all of those scans and they'll review them. Is my arm in the way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Um, goodness, we are I mean, not I in gotta, NASCAR. Yeah, but we are late to the airport. Oh. Oh, they look nice. <laughs> they look amazing. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? <laughs> they're going to look over those. Um, they're going to just, you know, probably run blood tests on him and whatnot, see what kind of treatments that they have that can help him, and options. see if options for, like, surgery to remove tumor so it doesn't come back things like that so yeah we're excited we have a week the kids are at the house with grandma I'm sure having tons of fun and we will bring you along on this little journey of ours okay so we got up this morning and uh, we headed out and I made the foolish mistake of not getting breakfast because somebody no names uh, took a little longer getting ready this morning. I don't know who. So, I mean, we got to, but we did make our flight, uh, but there was a delay to Denver because there was a lot of smoke, and so we had a delay. So by the time we got in flight and landed in that is Denver, so loud. and we had to get to our air, our, our next our next flight, what do you call the thing? Connecting so flight. We haven't had any food today, and it's like five o'clock. We've had the little bag of pretzels oh, that yeah, they give yeah. you on the airplane. Yeah. I'm, so hungry. <laughs> and we and so we don't have a car. And so we're like, oh we'll just get an Uber and go three so miles down the road. Three miles is fifteen dollars. One so way. Like, yeah, five dollars a mile. Like so that's not happening. So anyway, so we're doing we did DoorDash. So we did DoorDash. Mm -hmm. We got Chinese food coming. And I'm anyway, excited so about that though. Panda well, I am Express. All, I am all over the place. I am all over the place. Here's the oh, issue. Oh wait. We did <laughs> We did buy some chips and candy bars mm -hmm. from the little concession Don't stand Don't judge thingy me, there's no options. Down at Don't the judge. front desk in the hotel lobby because yeah. we are starving. That hasn't even touched my stomach. Yeah. I, it's like still growling. Yeah. Have you noticed every time we get on here, I'm gonna bring it closer because the air conditioner is really loud but it was hot in here. Mm -hmm. Every time we get on here, like the first words out of our mouth are, Food. we're so hungry. We are hungry, I'm hungry. It's like, do we even eat ever? Yeah. Like, but we're in Chicago. Well, actually not Chicago. What is this? Zion. Zion? We yeah. flew into Chicago. Oh. No, uh, what are you doing? You're like petting my face. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're so tired. Yeah. The second flight, the first plane was definitely a little puddle jumper. Yeah. It was really squished, and it wasn't too bad actually. I was, no, I would say it wasn't neither, squished. Neither flights were bad. It just didn't just, have a lot of seats. The second flight was like one of those big Boeing jets, and I mean they had all crazy big. Yeah, but it was funny because we were like in the middle aisle, and this lady, like, sits down and like decide, like she kind of like decided that half of my seat was her seat. If she wasn't a big lady. No, and so she's, yeah, so she just kind of like, like kept leaning over and, or maybe she was cold and just trying to warm up. It, I don't know, was, it was freezing in yeah, there. Yeah, it was so cold. And I'm a cold climate guy, so it was pretty cold for me. But anyway, so long story short, we made it. We just haven't eaten today, so we're tired, but we're here. Uh, we did meet, uh, so the, they organized your transportation from the, the airport. And there was another lady coming for a checkup, and she was her name was Robin, and we're gonna mm -hmm. be praying for her. Stage four breast cancer, yeah. so put her on your prayer list. But she was so sweet, so kind, so. Uh, She's 19 months in. Yeah, 19 months into treatment, and uh, she was just uh, she was real encouraging. You know, she was she was a lot of she was a lot of fun to chat with. We chatted with her for like 40 minutes until we got to the hotel. Yeah, I liked um, her. She's at a different hotel, but so but we said we'd be praying for her. So. But she kind of told us what to expect. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, she's stayed at the Lotus before for checkups. She says yeah. it's, you know, the driver's really nice. And yeah. no, it was a blessing meeting her. Mm -hmm. um, kind of get a little precursor on what we're... A little insight, I guess yeah, you could say. what we're gonna expect and... What's funny though, because the, the driver like pulls up and he totally hits the curb and blows out his hubcap, his plastic hubcap. And then he gets out and he's like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> it was crushed. And even the lady was like, oh, that's yeah. a first. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's just plastic. Because yeah. she's like, is this gonna hinder our ride? And I was like, no, nah, it's plastic, so. No, it, it was, was funny. it was great. I but got a haircut. You can really see it in the camera. It looks good. Does it? Yeah. Anyway. But apparently there's lots of cancer patients staying here. I've seen quite a few come through the lobby. That one kid was kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. So. I mean, she was up on her feet and stuff, but just, I don't know, kind of kind of. I don't like seeing kids yeah. with cancer. It makes yeah. me so sad. Yeah. But then that's what the lady on the bus said about us. Because she's like in her 60s. Yeah, and then she said seeing us. And she us, says so seeing, young. you know, young people like Jeremy. But she was very excited to hear about a pet scan, and she was, that's what, you know, and I, it was it was kind of one of those, like, And she does moment. trim healthy mama. Yeah, she does trim. But it was kind of one of those <laughs> humbling moments, because she was like, you know, you know, she's praying for the results I'm getting, and I'm not 19 months in. Yeah. I'm a couple months in, so, you know. But I'm really excited about tomorrow. My sister's on her way. Jeremy's sister, Misty's to, on the way. see the Millers. We're gonna see some more friends. Yeah. Um, the Millers are coming down to, for dinner. Mm-hmm. Plus we get to meet all kinds of cool doctors and nutritionists and... Yeah, she said we're really gonna like the like holistic doctors yeah. and the nutritionists because they've really educated her a lot. And yeah. that that's something I'm kind of passionate about is holistic and nutritional I'm passionate stuff. about living. <laughs> I'm just excited to be educated. That's a, I, yeah. that's gonna be a lot of fun. Today. I'm not gonna remember any of that stuff. Nope, but I will. I'm gonna soak it all in like a sponge. Well, here's the thing. I am not giving up my beef steak. No. I have been eating very consistent amount of steak. No, I shouldn't say steak. Beef. I've been eating a consistent amount of beef. Look at my results. So we're gonna just say what I'm doing is working. So all you vegetable eaters out there, eat more beef. <laughs> he literally did not let me make broccoli the other day. Well, okay, I was that, but that, not, not to be, happy. but to be, but to be fair about that, the broccoli makes me super nauseous, super sick. The smell of it, because like my they go stand outside. Yeah, but the, I mean, <laughs> there's certain things that just set my stomach off because of the chemo stuff, whatever. I don't know what it is, but appetite stuff's all over the but like bro like cooking broccoli in the stove that burnt broccoli smell Ugh. oh man i can't handle burnt it broccoli. it's not burnt it's roasted 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 broccoli is disgusting i'm not saying it's disgusting Never. disgusting i'm just saying i can't handle it so i'm sorry love you excited yeah i'm really excited i'm so hungry oh this looks good now lo mein we, we ordered a whole family size meal for ourselves. I'm to tell my personal trainer. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. We are digging in. I just took a quick little nap. Maybe like 15 minutes, Jeremy's in the shower. I think I'm gonna go wash my makeup off and we are just gonna rest for the night. Our bellies are full now and we are so incredibly exhausted from traveling all day. And we have a long day of doctor's appointments in the morning. So for now, I am going to close this out and we will talk to you guys later. Bye.